All right, welcome back, everyone. Cancer doctors in KwaZulu-Natal have taken it upon themselves to find easier ways to get to their patients in remote areas. In light of World Cancer Day today, the group of professionals is hosting a fundraising event to buy a mobile clinic. The Africa Unite Against Cancer event will have music artists such as Casper Nyovest, Kayam Tetwa, and some health dignitaries as well from the rest of the continent. To tell us more about this, we are joined by Dr. Tandeka Mazibuko. She's a registrar in radiation oncology and also a founder of Sinomuso no Tando. It's a profit, a non-profit organization that is going to be hosting this event. Good to have you back on the program. How are you doing this morning? I'm so blessed and it's so good to have you and to create an awareness today on the show. Yeah, good most, morning, South Africans. Yeah, good morning to you too. It's a, it's a, it's a great task that you're doing, and, and, and particularly your, your NGO. Tell, tell us a little bit more about the NGO and the work that it does, just to remind our viewers. So Nomosa Notando was founded in 2004 when I was a fourth-year medical student. The intention was, because I'm from the rural community, Patients in my community were dying uh, undiagnosed of cancer or not treated because of certain delays because of lack of knowledge. Hence, the NGO represented a paradigm shift in the management of cancer as well as decentralization of resources from the specialist level to the community. It then became a bridge and a representation who I was. I was from the rural community, and also we were starting to be more academically inclined. To link the two and to interpret the knowledge we've learned at Varsity was through the NGO called Sinomusa Notando. It was named Sinomusa Notando because we wanted to be relevant to the rural community, which was our main perspective. And our aim is to educate, and we use the Zulu name to be able to be associated by the KZN province. Yeah. Let's talk about the KZN province. And uh, obviously, because this is, this is where, where you operate, it's where you're from. We talk about uh, cancer being a serious issue uh, in, in this province, especially in the rural areas. How bad is the situation? I must say uh, the situation could be worse if we did not have a wonderful MEC of Health, Dr. Sbongseni Lomo, who started a project called Pilama Campaign, who through this campaign we are able to get even funding for our screening. As an NGO, it's difficult to assist the community, but the pandemic of cancer is increasing. This we must emphasize, which is why at the specialist level we're deciding to go to the community. Because what we see in our clinics is patients presenting with advanced disease and late presentation. What do I mean by that? For an example, a patient with cervical cancer will come to us with fistulas. It means the opening of which normal fecal content is supposed to go through, it goes through the vaginal opening. It means the anatomy gets distorted by this uh, disease by the time they present to us. Our government has offered amazing treatment machines to be able to give radiation and chemotherapy, but we are not reaching the majority of the community because people present late due to myths and due to lack of knowledge, which is why we're coming out to say, let's remove the myths and educate people. Let them not start to the traditional healers before they come to us. We work together with the traditional healers as well. We partner with the community. We've got uh, church leaders also to create this awareness. We believe that more people, when more people know, then they'll be able to detect them Themselves and come early to our centers and by that way we'll be able to utilize the government resources that have been offered to us in a more in-depth and more life-saving way. Yeah, that, that is, I mean, that is a, that's, that's the major issue when it comes to cancer. The early detection, your chances of survival are so much higher than if it's, it's too far gone. And I know that that's why you, you're trying to get into these areas early to try and get people to test, get to see if they are fit and healthy. And, and this is where this, this mobile unit is coming into effect. Talk to me about this and, and, and eventually getting this off the ground. We've been working on fundraising for mobile units for almost three years. We've contacted a lot of companies requesting their support. But it's very difficult to get the support because the literature tells everybody that cancer does not occur amongst African communities, especially in rural communities. There's this notion that 
it, the pandemic is more an HIV, but yet we see a lot of patients dying now of AIDS-related malignancy, which is not advocated for. Hence, we decided to go and do this uh, uh, fundraising dinner to say we're requesting the business people to partner with us. And we say Africa Unites, we're getting musicians, we get Deputy Minister of Health from Republic of Namibia who said she's here to support us. We would like to get the mobile unit. If you have a truck, you have a car, you have a bus to donate, please come on board and help us we want to help the people out there we are coming out and say companies join ventures with us because the aim is to put all those doctors in this truck or in this bus or the the vet or whatever we can fundraise for at the moment to be able to reach the community there's only two centers in in, in KZN that are treating cancer which are based in Alba Lutuli hospital as well as Grays in Maritzburg the rest of the outskirts of community have to come and see us but we want as doctors to reach out to them we are saying we are here we want to go out as specialists with the limited knowledge and scarce resources but we can't do it alone hence we are fundraising we've got this fundraising concert a Gagasini restaurant, which has been donated by the owner of a Gagasini. It costs almost 300000 It's given us for free to be able to raise funds on this concert. Casper Nyovest donated their services. Kayam Teto, Squili, and Tina. Excellent. We have Zama Magudulela, who came from Spain, who sings for Lion King. And all these artists have said, we are here to support you. Wonderful. We've got our doctors from Nelson Mandela School of Medicine and students. We ha also have the support of Department of Health for 10 years in this program. Projects. Okay. But we also want to support the Department of Health in their initiative because we are here as an extension of their services. Okay. And okay. this mobile unit will be able to assist us to reach to the rural community and we can reach to the woman. I always say to the staff when we're talking, think of a person who's picking the water from the river. Yeah, that person yeah. who don't have a bus fare, that's the person we want. Think of that person who's carrying the, the wood in their head. Those are our target market. Yeah, and we want yeah. those who are in denial, who are scared of re going to the resources centers because of the stigma. And we're saying we are here for you. We don't want you to present late. Okay. Early detection will save life. The mobile Absolutely. unit will ha help us in screening the community. All right, Tadeka, let's leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us. There's a telephone number on the screen there. Please phone it, get all the information that you need uh, for this event that's going to be taking place and help in the fundraising. Thank you so much for joining us here on the program. Dr. Tandeka Mazeboko, the founder of Sinomusa Notando, the nonprofit organization that is going to be hosting this event.